Welcome to episode 12 of QS program. As you know, we are working on a villa project by covering all aspects of quantity surveying. In the previous episode, we have covered earthwork, concrete, rate and material analysis. And today we're going to talk about foam work, shuttering for concrete. What is foam work and its importance? How to measure the quantities with the plan or software? and how to fill the BOQ by following NRM2 rules. This video is going to be very interesting. My name is Sadi Chohan and I'm an AEC consultant. And today I will be your host for this amazing series of QS program. So I hope you will enjoy without any delay. Let's get started. So what is foam work? Foam work is the temporary or permanent support structure in which concrete is poured. It is also known as shuttering. Now you may ask why foam work is important. So it is important for concrete to get hardened in desired shape and to gain the strength. And there are several types of foam work including steel foam work, wood and prefabricated etc. And in our villa project we are considering foam work type wood plywood and to get the quantities for our villa project we need few things we need plans or software for the measurement purpose you can use any other tool either the manual way or any other software i am considering plan shift second we need the drawings like column slab and beam etc and third we need a work section boq which is prepared by nrm2 document so without any delay let's get to the screen Okay, on the screen right now, you can see two things. Left side shows plan swift where I have all my drawings. And you know, since beginning, I'm using a plan swift software. If you're new to plan swift and you don't know how to use, just watch my playlist. It's called plan swift training. It will give you the basic understanding. On the right side, you can see the Excel sheet. It's a BOQ sheet, which is prepared by NRM2, work section BOQ. If you're following the series, you have noticed I have use the same excel sheet for earthwork for the concrete of columns lab all and now today we're going to focus on foam work so we simply need to follow the excel sheet and plans will help us to get the quantity fine so following the boq the first thing which we need is sides of isolated pad foundation footing okay and what we need we need meter why we need meter by the way all of the quantities and other work we need in square meter why it's in meter as per nrm2 rules i have opened the document and the page number is 161 we are following this so nrm2 says if the side of foundation is less than 500 so it should be in meter we cannot consider it square meter so that's the reason i'm considering in running meter okay foundation footing so simply we need to follow and depend on the foundation plan so create a new item linear Give a name, foam work, choose color, press OK, and the concept is simply highlight wherever you have seen it. Software will show us on this floor foundation plan. You can see foam work path footing is 113, and simply now we need to type in Excel sheet 113.3 running meter. So by typing the value, our first task is then, which is isolated pad fitting side. Okay, following the BOQ, the second we need sides of column in foundation, neck column. So first thing, from which plan? It's a foundation plan because it's a neck column. Now, what exactly we need? Square meter. So to get the square meter, you know the formula is length multiplied by height. What is the height? It's mentioned in the plan, it's one meter. So to get the square meter, I have created one template of plan so that will make the things easier for me. But if you don't know how to create the template, watch my another playlist called plan swift template that will help you. But you will see it's very easy. I have created the template. I just need to type the name. Okay. Foam walk and neck column sides. Enter the height, choose the color, press OK and concept now is highlighting you will see it. 
And once we finish all soft issues the quantity on this foundation plan you have created for work neck column side and total quantity is 21 square meter and simply we need to type here that's it so it was very easy one reason is plan shift we've started from scratch that's the reason you are able to understand because you are a part of team and you're following this series and also if you haven't subscribed the channel because i have noticed still 60 percent of people watch my videos without subscribing the channel so please subscribe the channel show your support because in future i need to upload more drawing and i need your support guys third one is ground beam in foundation we need square meter from where we can get it it's a tie beam plan we can get the details from here but what exactly we need we need sides and soffit so let's try to understand the sides it's a right and left part so we need to get the total detail because we need to provide a foam work on side so right and left both we need and the soffits soffits at the bottom so we need three things right left and bottom if we have three of them so we can multiply and we can enter here in this column but how to get the detail about the side from the schedule if you open the schedule you will find out the tie beam height is 0 0.6 and width is 0 0.2 so from the height we can see it's the right and left part this is height and width is 0 0.2 so it's a bottom because anyways on the top we are not providing a homework so at the bo bottom will be 0 0.2 so we have the information now simply we need to get the length but one thing we need to clarify is it including the slab as well so let's confirm it open the section plan and if you open the section plan you will find out yes it's including the slab as well so for the beam it's only 0 0.45 it's not 0 0.6 so one thing is clear so back to the plan now consider manually as well you can manually count and as you know I'm using a plan so because it's very easy for me you will see so I'm simply gonna create a new item I have created a template I'll give a name foam walk tie beam okay side a which is on right and left it's 0 0.45 and we need two sides so i have the formula it will make it easy for me the other side which is at the bottom soffit it's 0 0.20 and it's only on one side so let's keep it one once we enter this information press ok and now simply we need to highlight all the name so let me just finish this quickly then we'll talk about it Once we finish all software shows 87.1 square meter for all the tie beam. If you see here, tie beam 1, 2 and 3 is almost same. There is just a minor change here in tie beam 3 and it's also only 1. So if you want very accurate quantity, you can consider it separate. But just because it's only 1 and it's a minor change, it's not gonna uh, make a, a huge difference. So I will consider it into a same. So it will be easy instead of some. Now software shows total quantity is 91.2 and I simply need to type here 91.2 the sides and soffit of ground beam in foundation. Before we move further, one thing as we cleared, this height is including slab. So I have subtracted now the pending is 0.45. One thing is clear. And the second thing, the detail of TB1, TB2 and TB3 is almost same. So that's why I consider one and I simply highlight all. Third is, third is the name, which you can see it's incorrect. I didn't notice before, but I think designer made a mistake. Anyways, fourth, which is very important. Maybe you have already noticed. Let's consider this as an example. Foam work we have to provide on three sides, right, left and the bottom part. But what about this? You know this is a column so it means at the bottom there is already a column so we don't need to provide the foam work at this part so it means we have to subtract it right this is the right way you should subtract if you're considering a very accurate quantity yes you should subtract but i'm not subtracting right now i'm skipping it some minor so i'll consider it as an extra as a wastage but yes you should subtract if you are going to do that it's better to get the net value okay the next one is ground floor slab to get the slab in square meter 
we need to think the total length multiplied by height will get the total square meter. From where we can get the height, let's open the section drawing. I have the section drawing and if we see here the height is 0.15. And if you remember, if the height is less than 0.5 as per NRM2, we don't need square meter. We need only a meter. So it means we don't even need a height here. So go back to plan, we just need the total length. So I will hide this temporary, I will create a new item, I give a name here, foam walk, ground floor slab. Let's choose a different color, press OK and highlight simply. Software shows the total length ground floor slab is 45.5. So simply we can type here. That's it. The next one is sides of ground floor column and we need square meter. To get the square meter we need the length of four sides. Let's say this is the column. Length of four sides multiplied by height will have the total square meter. From where we can get the height. So open the section drawing. In a section drawing you can see the height. It's 3.05. Once you have the height go back to the plan. We just need the length four side of all the color okay so let's create a new item give a name foam walk for ground floor column and the height is 3.05 it's in meter press ok and simply we need to highlight here once you finish the quantity you can see on the left side under the ground floor the total foam walk is 63.9 so it's almost 64 we can type a 64 square meter okay so this was all about sides of ground floor column i hope you understand that the next one is sides of first floor column now it will be easy because you already understand the concept open the first floor drawing here we need the total quantity so we need a square meter so firstly we need to get the height so open the section drawing okay what is the height of the column here? It's 3.05. So it's fine. Open the drawing again. We need to highlight the total all side length multiply by height. Again, if you don't have a plan so do it manually. It will take extra time. But yeah, at the end you will be there. I'm using a plan shift plus the template of plan shift. That is making things more easier for me. So form walk, first floor, column. You can type the name as per BOQ or just short depending, press OK and the concept here highlighting. So Once I finish all, software show me on the left side, first floor column from work is 55.9 which is almost 60. So you can type here 60 square meter. Anyways, I have done the sides of first floor column. The next is side and soffit of first floor beam. So the side we already know the right and left part and soffit is at the bottom part. So open the first floor beam drawing. I have here first floor beam drawing. We have finished the quantity in previous episode. It's still there. Let me hide those. Okay. So what exactly we need? We need side and soffit of first floor beam. Three side basically right, left and bottom. Let's see the detail what is in the schedule. It says 0 0.2, 0 0.6. Okay, so 0 0.6 will be right and left. 0 0.2 will be at the bottom. Okay, so simply start by creating a new item. What's the name? It's a foam work. We need for beam first floor. First side is 0 0.6, other side is 0 0.2. Which side is two time? This is the one, 0 0.6, the height. Okay, choose color, press OK. And the concept that you already know we have to highlight now it was a matter of few clicks once we finish soft issue us here on this floor the complete foam walk for beam on first floor is 87.2 simply enter here 87.2 okay you can add wastage extra little bit depending on the you know plan so once you finish the quantity is done Next is edges and soffits of first floor slab. Did you notice something? Previously when we done the slab, here in BUK it was mentioned, 
edges of ground floor slab why because at the ground floor slab we don't need foam work it's already at the ground so that's the reason so be okay if you understand many things will be easier for you so we need edges and soffits of first floor slab so we need now basically two things one we need the bottom of slab so we need total square meter then we need the edges the sides as well so two things we need in square meter fine to, for, to get the height we need to open a section plan so if you open a section plan we will see here the height of the slab is 0 0.25 now you simply need to highlight so let's create a new item we simply need to type a name foam walk and first floor slab and what is the height it's 0 0.25 I guess I, I have a short memory I already forget I think so but anyways if it's 0 0.2025 you can type press ok and now we need to highlight see I am highlighting only the area so if you are wondering what about the sides software already included including that software will give me the total quantity so the total quantity you can see here foam work first floor slab is 128 and I simply need to type here I have the total quantity if you're still wondering did I take the quantity very accurate so my dear friend I'm using a plan of soffits very accurate let me give you a cross check usually I don't explain in plan sir, but just for your information only you can see here the total area is 116 right so just to give you the cross check fine next what you need total length let's give a name here test so how much I have the length is 45.7 okay 45.7 multiply by height 0 0.25 so if you sum both of them you can see here what exactly you got here you got the same value so as I explained plans it is very powerful when it comes to customization I have created a formula behind that's why I just need to highlight one thing rest of the thing planser will do it by itself but if you don't have a plan sir my dear friend learn plan sir I have many videos on my channel okay basic plan sir template plan sir now back to main quantity serving program what was our topic today okay one thing I hope you have already noticed what about the staircase we have to subtract that part yes you're correct we have to remove this because we don't need a foam work here so it's very simple to subtract we can simply modify fine once you highlight software will show you the total pending value is 117 and we can update now okay so that's how it work if you realize okay there is an opening or there is something else so you can subtract once you're done you have the accurate quantity okay so I hope this point is also cleared next one is roof beam so let's open the drawing now we need soffit and the edges it means right and left side and the bottom part three sides we need again you can check the schedule the information will be there okay so following the same concept as I have shown you before let's create a new item give a name foam work for roof beam side 1 is 0 0.6 side 2 is 0 0.2 if it's two sides I can give a name here it's two sides choose color press ok and simply now I need to highlight it's 71 square meter so we can simply type here 71 square meter so this was the requirement and we got it very quickly by the plans of software okay the next is roof slab we need here two things edges and soffits we need square meter so again the bottom which is total square meter plus all the side multiply by height so let's find out the height quickly what is the height of roof slab so open the section drawing we can see the section drawing says it's 0 0.25 okay so back to the plan create a new item give a name foam work roof slab 0.25 press ok and simply highlight ok once we finish software show us the total quantity is 92.1 I guess it's a radio channel name anyways 92.1 I have typed here so we can see the total quantity if you want accurate results so you have to click in the same manner I was giving the example that's why 
I did that click very accurately but of course if you are working and your concern is very accurate quantity I'll suggest you to consider in the same manner okay now you can see it's 91.3 of course it depends on how you deal the tool the more accurately you click the maximum result you're gonna have fine so it's about slab here I don't need to subtract that because if you check the section drawing I don't have the opening above it's my final floor you can see here I don't have any opening here so that's why I don't need to subtract the staircase straight box here okay that's the reason so I hope you understand the concept the next is staircase now I want you to pay more attention because it's not simpler like the previous part so staircase divided into two one is riser and the second is slab and sides so let me show you the picture it will be easy for you to understand it's the closest picture I can find related to our villa project so see we need here slab and sides so for the slab it's also divided into two parts one is slope from here to there and from here to there we have to exclude this because it's the floor we don't need a foam work here we need from here to there slab if we talk about the waist slab or this slope it's from here to there and here to there this is one part second is the landing if we get this all we'll have the total foam work for the for the slab the second one is the side so for the side it's very simple and for the side if we get the total length of till here we can multiply by 2 this length multiply by 2 and if we get this length we'll have the total sides so it's very simple you already got the concept now let's focus on the plan shift how it can help us maximum we are on the staircase plan right now and we need firstly the slope area okay so if we get this length this complete length of both we can simply multiply by the total width we'll get the square meter automatically so what is the width to know the width we can open a plan it's 1.1 so give a name here so I have made this arrow for you to understand from here it starts this is the ground floor it's a landing and then it goes to the first floor so we simply need to highlight from here to there and then from here to there once we highlight software will show us here in the legend as well that on this floor we have done only this and the quantity is 16.5 let's keep it here 16.5 fine what else we need we have already this too but what about the landing so for that purpose we can depend on the plan we have the plan here let's get the total area of it so let's create a new item give a name foam work for landing press ok and it's very simple we have to highlight fine so total of the landing is 16.5 plus 2.8 we can sum both of them 2.8 plus this total till now if we include these two the slope and the landing we have the total 19.6 but this is not only we need we need here sides as well these sides so again it's the same trick if we have the length we can multiply the length with the height this side open the section drawing you will see it let me take you to the section in the section you can see it's 0 0.2 okay plan is there let's create a new item it's a foam work side staircase press ok and we simply need to highlight now when I highlight this I have two options I can highlight twice automatically I have the double value or I can multiply okay concept is same let's keep it there 6.0 what else we need if we follow the drawing we need these sides as well these side so if we open this picture we can understand these two sides we have done and that sides as well we have done it now the pending is only this these three sides so okay open the plan and highlight only once you highlight software will show you the total is seven instead of six so earlier we have done 19 now we can add 7 as well so total square meter 
for site and the slab and the landing we need the foam walk 26.3 square meter okay what is left it's staircase steps so we can see here in section detail we have information about number of risers the height and all other information but before we proceed i want you to notice something see we are following nrm2 new rules of measurement by rics so let's have a look on the document so this is the document with me if you open a page 162 here you will find out staircase riser it has to be mentioned in a meter so for that purpose we have to get the total result output in meter what exactly we need in meter so let me show you the picture you can see on the screen these steps these risers we need total in meter so to get there it's very simple calculation firstly how many steps do we have it's 22 steps then what is the width of each step each riser what is the width so it's almost 1.1 so when you type this you have the total meter 24.2 so it was a simple calculation i hope you understand the concept okay so this was about staircase and if you want to check in the estimating tab you will find out whatever we have done till now in this episode we have done the form work this all the information is here previously we have done for concrete and before that it was earthwork so even in concrete we have done separately earthwork column beam slab and staircase etc well this is what we have done till now i'm showing you just for information so we all will be at the same level okay so that was all about foam work for slab column and beam for our villa project in the coming episode we're going to talk about rate and material analysis for foam work and then stay to the reinforcement now i will suggest everyone to practice whatever we have learned today and for your reference i have already given the link in the description for drawings for nrm2 document and excel sheet so you can practice and evaluate yourself and don't forget to share your feedback because i always check whoever practice and learn something new so that's it for today thank you so much for watching stay connected and keep learning